Greetings everyone, this is SC Grant here, and well, for all you 90s lovers out there, this radio station is for you. In 90s pop, you'll fall in love with this incredible music once again. So enjoy 60 new tracks and almost one hour of music, because for me, this was definitely my pretty much definitive favorite when it got released as my go-to radio station when it comes to you know, building my cities and all. But I also want to give a shout out to the Piano Tunes radios. Because Piano Tunes itself is the perfect radio station for those of, of us who loves classical, whimsical, ele and elegant piano music. <laughs> 16 songs and approximately one hour music. Your city will rise flawlessly from your fingertips. I mean, A is what you expect. It's Piano Tunes because A. Between you and me, I got a certain imp uh, from a show called Hell of Boss who would like that um, classical, whimsical, elegant piano music. Just hit him up. You'll probably know who he is. But without further ado, let us get into what you guys have all been waiting for since forever. And that is the creator packs and mini expansions to close off this game itself. Alright, let's get started. So we're gonna walk the path of history with Industrial Revolution from the community creator herself, Samantha Woods, or we refer to her as Vanya. She is also known for the European um, for the European Suburbia Pack back in 2017. So this creator pack includes a new set of global buildings that span different eras of industrial building styles, from red bricks walls to modern sleek industrial complexes. Man, the features also offers more variety than 70 generic buildings from the base game in a building style that'll give you an industrial district new look. Here's what you can find. We got 34 buildings from the historical era, 18 buildings from the modern light era, and 18 more buildings from the contemporary modern buildings. Okay, if you can tell from the background, I got the historical brick factories because it actually takes some time for them to level up to get to the modern light and contemporary modern industry buildings. So for me personally, I will have to play the waiting game to see how well these two industry buildings will pan out to me personally. But, it's, it is what it is since this is technically uh, Samantha's pretty much second outing in the, in the world of City Skylines. But, once again, we're just getting started. Before we get into Hotels and Retreats expansion, I want to clarify that they finally patched the Financial Districts DLC. So now, what you're seeing in the background is one of the banks, meaning that they actually fixed the stock exchange glitch, meaning I could actually invest and was able to upgrade my pretty much stock exchange itself in order to gain access to the new um, unique builders from that main expansion. But let's turn over to Hotels and Retreats, which is considered the last pretty much overall content pack expansion from Colossal Order themselves as we're, we're spoofing up the city with the finest. But with everything from conference hotels for your business travelers to mountain hotels for nature lovers, start with a small hotel chain and unlock the most luxurious options that you make your way to a successful hotel business with a significant tour boost to your city because we got hotel buildings, management, tourism, and the fact that location is key. New maps and of course achievements, cause would you expect? Because I'm going to get, I got, I got, I got already tapped my toes feet well, but I'm gonna get, but it's gonna take me some time to get used to um, this hotel inspired mini expansion, as it's considered the last one since I'm already trying to get the financial districts up and running, but I got the hotels one. This will definitely be on my to do list and probably future city builds, y'all. Oh man, when this specific creative pack was announced, I was instantly hooked. Cities are ever-changing and this pack from content creator Prosper explores the neighborhoods of Brooklyn and Queens. Well, it's literally the title of the creative pack itself. Because Brooklyn and Queens is a set of medium-rise, high-density residential buildings and Prosper decorating the facade and rooftops. This content pack literally screams New York, or most notably the Bronx, or pretty much the 
Naruto, like the hood. Like that's pretty much it is, and this was my favorite pack. I combined this with the 90s pop radio, and you definitely got definitely one bona fide bundle there, man. One bona fide set of conditional content to make you feel like you were born and raised in the hood, man. Because I made a whole district with nothing but the Brooklyn and Queens additional global buildings. But I was able to get some of them to basically change to the more modernized version instead of the brick related ones. Because this one, it's got that historical feeling. Brick ones are the old days, and the modernized ones are like more modern. It's what you don't want to get. But this is definitely, I consider, a personal favorite of mine, if you know what I mean by this point. Well guys, looks like we're going to discover Japan by train thanks to this brand new creator pack, Railroads Japan, from its own creator, Ryuichi Kamanui. But, guess what, he also did the Modern Japan DLC back in 2020 when the Sunset Harbor and Coast to Coast Radio also got released. Because this content creator pack here adds authentic Japanese railroad city to see skylines with stations, trains, buses, and more. Four railroad stations, two railroad trains, six Metroid stations, one Metroid train, one bus, one bus depot, four parks, two pop-up buildings, one unique building, one tiny police station, 13 props, and one negative network. That's a lot to take in for because what you see in the background is from the Heart of Korea DLC because, as again, just like the um, Industrial Evolution pack, I'm gonna need some time to get adjusted to these new additions to the game. Because, once again, it came out uh, a few days ago, and I gotta get this video out, and there's more to tell. To get an idea of what I meant by there's more to tell from this whole, from this whole ordeal, we need to go back to when I actually started making City Skylines videos. So, it all began pretty much at the tail end of my 2D design class. I just recently got the game on both PC and PS4. I didn't really think much of it uh, apart from you know, having a city building game because I needed to change the pace after playing various games from back in um, late 2017. Most notably, Need for Speed Payback and Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces was pretty much mad at me and Need for Speed Payback was a lot to be desired. I could do without the microtransactions and the gambling. But that's not what we're here. What we're here for is pretty much why I started doing these Skylines videos. I need to change the pace for my usable content. But by the end of pretty much the later 2018, I have been keeping up with many, with pretty much most of the campus DLCs. And that's pretty much what I said to it because after the campus DLC, hmm, that was kind of strange. Because if I recall, and my mind's a bit fuzzy about what content creator packs were released, I would say that during a certain portion of my early days with this game, because I purchased it back in early 2018, I needed to know exactly what I was getting myself into when making uh, City Skylines videos. Because it was at the time, and I believe that Campus was a 2019 thing at Industries at the time. So, what I actually did was that I started doing the Road to mini segments leading up to a certain expansion. But I did not leave out the entirety of all of the, of the current career packs at the time. And if I recall, that would include the Art Deco. European Suburbia, High Tech Buildings, mm, what else, what's that, because I'm reading from the, from the, pretty much the outlines here, Pearls from the East was a free one, and that was it in terms of creator patch, because it wasn't until around pretty much the campus DLC is when they started throwing in the big guns, I mean, for radio stations, we pretty much had at that time we had the all that jazz radio station we had the kills and well it was basically a christmas thing for the concerts dlc 
carols, candies, and candy. We also had the Country Road Radio. We also had the, well, we had, well, Rock City Radio. And we also had Synthetic Dawn at that point. We just recently got Synthetic Dawn and Relaxation Station. So, yeah, we were pretty much in the first half of this game's post-launch support. So, by the time we jumped to 2019, we got the Campus DLC, which is the only thing that was released at that time in 2019. Because the console versions were catching up to it, and we started getting more and more. Because this was the first expansion that got a creator pack and a radio station along with it. That included the Campus Radio and the Geek Focus Radio, along with the University Creator Pack created by King Leno, who will also go make the Shopping Malls DLC for uh, pretty much in March of 2023. That's literally two months ago. But there was more to it than that. It was at that time that I started going more in depth with City Skylines videos. You see, in late 2019, they released the Modern City Center Creator Pack along with the Downtown Radio Pack. It was part of the Downtown Bundle. That's when I did my Downtown Bundle review that is still popular to this day if you check it out on my main channel. I recently did, did, did some things and actually updated the title card as it's current because there was an old title card but I just replaced it with the current one and you can check it out on my channel. Well, my main channel to be precise because that's where it is to this day and it's still the most viewed video on that channel. And I've been getting some traction on the gaming channel. I've been trying to keep up with the times and knowing what's new with City Skylines. But we're at this point in time that we're done with City Skylines content because 2020 marked it the fact is that before the pandemic hit, we got our hands on the Sunset Harbor DLC well, expansion, if you put it that way, along with the Coast to Coast Radio and the Modern Japan DLC by Ryuichi san. So. We were pretty much left without no content or no updates apart from bug patches and all that for nearly uh, one and a half years until two radio stations and two creators popped out of nowhere and I was picking up at by this but I decided to make a video on it on the main channel. This is referred to the Bridges and Piers and Train Stations creator packs along with the Sunny Breeze Radio and Rail Heart Radio. Yeah! Finally some good ass beats that come dropping in. But this was not the only thing that was coming out. See, early 2022, when I started to be getting working at my current job at a, as a, um, pretty much as a, pretty much as a restaurant worker at a Mexican restaurant, I was able to experience the airport's DLC, which is the next, which is pretty much the follow up at the Sunset Harbor, along with pretty much the first map pack yeah i'm not kidding the first map pack overall of this game I mean, we're getting new map themes just map themes also with it we got combo the mind radio and on air radio oh yeah finally we're back to some familiar territory along with vehicles of the world because they had a freaking police supercar that i wanted but no, I mean, I want to drive because in the game, on the console versions, you can drive around and walk around or run around. It's like basically an open sandbox. They're literally trying to turn this thing into the next GTA. In which I am not aware of a GTA 6 to at me, man. But yeah, uh, ignore all that and another little, little, you know, show some tone and you'll realize the fact is that I was kind of mixed on the airport DLC when I reviewed that but I did enjoy the vehicles in world if I got to drive the new vehicle like the, 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 look the police supercar was there man I wanted to drive it but I couldn't because I already have a sports car in the game and come on it's literally there but the strangest thing is by the end of 2022 that's when I made my gaming channel and thus a sleuth of City Skylines DLC, the last major expansion, Closets and Promenades, got released. I did my videos and 
the first half of October 2022. This also included going over various creative packs and rotations. That included the Shoreline and Paradise radios. However, the creative packs were also included were Mid-Century Modern and Seaside Resort. Together, their bundles was $30, and that baffled me to why it was $30. But then, at the end, around Christmas time of that year, we got ourselves the mini expansion, which is Financial Districts, along with the African Vibes Radio and the second map pack to get included, totaling the, its own bundle, bundle pass for consoles of $15. Basically, they basically cut the price in half from the Plaza's bundle. Thank God. But we're at a point now that it was March 2022. I was still working. I was still on the gaming channel. It was close to having me take an April 2023 off from the gaming channel to focus on, you know, getting audio logs and next major videos out on the main channel to get things back up and running. So I went ahead and did the pretty much World Tour bundle, the next edition to the World Bundle Tour. That included the African miniature. The heart. Oh, that reminds me. There was also the heart of Korea. <laughs> there was so much going on. Heart of Korea, skyscrapers, the K-pop station, downtown beast were also back in November. But let's jump. Let's just get things this over with because at this point, it's time for me to wrap things up because I'm gonna give my closing statements on what I thought about the final editions of the game. I repeat. The final editions of the game. Well, before I finally close out on this video relating to the final editions of the game, I want to go over what happened back in March of 2022. I was in the midst of not only testing out the new Mercedes uh, Maybach S680 for needs to be unbound, but was preparing to find out that we're getting the basic Awoken skill for Xenoverse 2 players. But in the midst of all this, and in the right middle, guess what was released was essentially the next, well, six major additions to the game, which was the shopping malls, sports venues, and African miniature creator packs, along with three radio stations. That be the Just Another Day in Africa radio, the Pop Punk radio, and oh boy, you will not believe it, but they added 80s movie tunes. I can't believe it that, because <laughs> out of all that, they gave me jam packed radio stations. But we're at a crossroads here. City Skylines is done with post-launch support for PC, PlayStation, and of course, Xbox One. But let me rephrase that. PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox are done with post-launch content. But there is still yet, as of this recording, a upcoming patch that will address any final or possibly final, you know, bugs or anything that's been found after May 20, or the 23rd of May, content dropped. So, what do I think about all this? That Seas Guys is finally ending and we're gonna get the sequel and we're still waiting for the master version to get all the DLCs added? Well, Truth be told, I'm pretty much set, pretty much relieved that they're done with post on the floor because the sequel's about to come out this year. And we still gotta wait for the remastered version to get everything patched that because I may have the remastered version on my PlayStation 5, but just but let's just say that I read the forums on <laughs> and boy were people complaining about the PS5 and Xbox Series X. It was not looking up, it was not looking good for the remastered version of City Skylines, man. So we gotta wait till the end of summer to see if that all gets addressed. It. But we still have that baby final hot fix for the PS4 and Xbox One the PC version of the game. But we'll just have to wait and see personally because for me right now I think I need some time away from the gaming channel. Because currently I have been pretty much going back to back a month from March to April to May 
in terms of not only getting various gaming videos out and giving you news and updates, but the fact is I haven't gotten no personal intermission or breaks. So I needed some, I needed a breathing room. I need to step away from the gaming channel and let's just say give it a couple months and I'll probably be back with pretty much my final thoughts on a remastered version of City Skylines later down the road. But without further ado, I thank you all for tuning in and I hope to see you all in the near future in terms of new content. But without further ado, take care and see you all in the near future.